this video we're going to round whole numbers on page one we'll round to the nearest ten page two round to the nearest hundred there's page one this is uh, page two and page three will round to the nearest thousand okay so let's begin now if we have the number 38 we need to round that to the nearest ten now, the first thing I like you to do is is get out a piece of paper and just quickly write down tens, a whole bunch of tens. In other words, tens means what? 10, 20, 30. Numbers with zero in the units place, in the ones place, okay? So if it has a zero in the ones place, it's a 10. So these are all tens, right? Um, so basically rounding 38 to the nearest 10 is saying what 10 number is 38 nearest to? Well what 10 number is 38 nearest to? Is it nearest to 20? Nearest to 30? Nearest to 40? Nearest to 50? Which one is it nearest to? It's closest to 40 isn't it? It's closest to 40, and so that's why we round that, and you can do wavy equal sign to show that it's approximately equal to, I guess I'll write that down. Approximately equal to 40. So 38 is approximately equal to 40, right? Now, um, the other way of doing that is saying, look, the in the one spot we have an 8. If this number, this digit here is 5 or more, we round up. If it's 4 or less, we round down. So we round up and then the 3 turns into a 4 in the 10 spot. That's, so that's another way of doing it. But it is uh, important to understand exactly what's going on. If you're asked to round 24 to the nearest 10, what 10 number is 24 nearest to? It is nearest to 10? Or is it nearest to 20 or 30 or 40 or what? It's nearest to 20, isn't it? 24 is near, out of these 10s, 24 is nearest to 20. So what we do is we say 24 is approximately equal to 20. Now, the other way of doing it is, is to say, look, the, in the one spot, in the unit spot, in the unit place, we have a 4. Now, if this digit is 4 or less, we round down. And so we round this down, and then this, this digit stays the same. It just stays at a 2, okay? So if you have 75, what do you round that guy to? 75 is nearest to what number? 50, 60, 70, 80, 90? What's it nearest to? Well, it's equally as close to 70 and 80. And so you would think that you have a choice. Well, I could round to 70 or I could round to 80. What's the difference? And usually in real life, it doesn't make a difference. But um, there is a standard practice in math that if this digit here is five or more you must round up and there is actually a practical reason for that so um, we have a choice between 70 or 80 but the rule is if it's if this digit uh, is five or more we round up and so we say that's approximately equal to 80 so we round up okay now the reason for that I'll tell you why is because in real life lots of numbers are already rounded like this could represent say seventy five dollars and um, that mightn't actually be I mean that you know it could actually be that that number was originally seventy five dollars and two cent so my point is when in in real life when you're given the number 75 it may often represent something like 75.02 which it, which should you would think round up to 80 because there's this point 2 at the end of it point 0.02 at the end of it or if you were given the number 35 
in real life that might actually in actual fact be 35.00 you know four or something so on a lot of numbers that you know that have a five here there might be more stuff you know down the line which would which would mean that it's justified to round up okay so my point is if you have a five here it, it's 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 quite possible in real life that there is some stuff uh, down the line more digits down the line and so it should be rounded up but that's one way of thinking about it but basically what we have to remember is if this if the kind of the next digit is five or more we round up that's in all cases oh where am I gonna write that need some space I apologize so for all cases if a digit is five or more round up and of course four or less round down okay so if it's five or more you round up four or less you round down that's how it works so um, that's that now if we were rounding these guys to the nearest ten what would we do let's have a look at a hundred and twelve one hundred and twelve you know what 10 number is 112 closest to well none of these but what comes if we were going 60 70 80 90 what would come next in this sequence of tens the next 10 number is in fact 10 tens or 100 and the next 10 number is 11 tens or 110 and then we've got 12 tens 100 120 13 tens is 130 14 tens is 140 and so this sequence does in fact continue so the point is any number that has a zero in the unit spot is in fact a 10 it's a it's a 10 number it's one of the tens okay so what is 112 uh, closest to well it's approximately equal to or it's close to 110 right and of course the other way or the quicker way of doing that is to say look the next I'm rounding to the tens spot okay this is where the tens are in the one spot I have a two if this digit is four or less I round down does that make sense I round down and then I just I, I these digits stay the same so if you have 247 now what do you do You're rounding to the nearest 10, remember, rounding to 10s. There's a 4 in the 10 spot. There's a 7 in the units spot. Okay? So remember, if it's 5 or more, you round up. It's, if it's 4 or less, you round out. So this, in the, in the units spot, this is 5 or more. This is more than 5, right? So we round up, don't we? We round up. And so this 4 becomes a 5, and then this is a 0, of course. And so that's approximately equal to 250. Now, of course, if we continued this sequence of 10s, we would eventually come to 250. Any number that has a 0 in the unit spot is a 10. Okay? And that even works for thousands. If I'm rounding 3,893 to the nearest 10, I have in the 10 spot I have uh, 9 in the unit spot I have 3 so what do I do do I round up or do I round down or what round that to the nearest 10 write down the answer write down the answer to that you're going to round down, right? Because you've if you got nine in the tens, but we've got a three in the one spot, so that rounds down, and this becomes ninety. You can forget about the rest of the number. This is just ninety-three rounds to ninety, and then write in the rest. Three thousand eight hundred ninety. Okay. So how about this guy? Forty-five thousand three hundred and thirty-five. We've got a five in the unit spot. We need to round to the nearest ten. Round that guy to the nearest ten. What happens? And you know that a cool thing is just forget about everything else. Just look at this. We have 35. If I was rounding 35 to nearest 10, what would I get? 
you would round up or down. If it's five or more in the units, you got to round up, right? So round up to 40. Does that make sense? So 35 rounds up to 40. And then you can just write in the rest. It doesn't matter what that number is. It, this number could go on forever, right? But you would know what to do because you're just rounding. You're just looking at the tens, right? Okay. If you had 96, what would you do? Round 96, the nearest 10. Write down the answer. It has a 6 in the unit spot and a 9 in the 10 spot. Do we round up or round down? 6 in the unit spot, we round up, right? So we round up, and what's the next number after 9? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So the 9 becomes a 10. And it's rounded up, and so we're left with 100, right? And 100 is a 10 number because it has a 0 in the unit spot. Any number that has a 0 in the unit spot is a multiple of 10, okay? It's a 10s number, let's say. Okay, 295. Round this guy to the nearest 10. Do it by yourself. Try and do it before I can do it. Rounded to the nearest 10, what do you get? This is the 10 spot. We want to round to this place. Now, in the units place, we have 5. So, do we round up or down? If it's 5 or more, we round up, right? So, we round this guy up. So, this becomes 1 more. Now, if I add 1 onto here. If I if I round up and I add 1 onto here, what's 1 plus 29? What's 1 plus 29? Well, it's 30. So this whole thing becomes 30. And of course, this is rounded up, so we have a 0 here. So 295 is approximately equal to 300. And this is a multiple of 10. So again, if I continue this sequence of 10s here, you know, you get 290, and then you get 300, and then you get 310. So 300 is a multiple of 10, right? Because it has a zero in the unit spot. Any number that has a zero in the unit spot is a 10, multiple of 10, right? Okay, 2,900, <coughs> excuse me, and 97. We want to round that to the nearest 10, and then the unit spot we have a seven. Here's a funny one. What happens now? Do we round up or down? Well, we round up, don't we? We round up. And when I round up, I'm going to add a 1 to this. Now, adding a 1 to this 9 makes that a 10, right? And you could say then that there's another one added here, and this 1 and 9 becomes 10. And now there's another one added here, and this one and two becomes a three. So that's one way of doing it. Or, and of course, then you would have um, three, zero, 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 right? Three thousand. Or you could say, look, I'm rounding up. I'm rounding up. So this has got to increase by one. Now, if I increase this by one, this is basically 299. What's 299 plus 1? 299 plus 1 is 300, right? So if I increase 299 by 1, I get 300. So that's another way of looking at it. Anyway, so let's see if you can do this one by yourself. Press pause if you need more time. I want you to do this one all by yourself around 4,895 to the nearest 10. Okay, I'm going to do it now. We've got a 5 in the unit spot. We want to round to this place here. So, I've got to basically... We end up with 0 here in the unit spot to make it into a 10 uh, number. And we've got to add 1 
to here. Now 1 and 9 is 10. Okay, and then we've got, so that'll mean we have to add 1 onto here again. And so we'll have 4, 9, 0. Or the other way of looking at it is just look, I'm adding 1 to 489. What's 489 plus 1? 489 plus 1 is 490, right? So I get 4900 0, or 4900. So this is approximately equal to 4900. Okay, on to page 2. We're going to round these numbers to the nearest 100. Okay. So if we have 413, if you round that to the nearest 100, what do you get? Now let's first quickly write out what hundreds means. If we're talking about hundreds, we're talking about numbers that look like this. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, and so on, right? These are hundreds. So what hundred is 413 nearest to? Which of these numbers is it nearest to? So I'll just take the tens out of here for now. Okay, so these are my hundreds. Which of these is it nearest to? Is it nearest to 200, or 300, or 400, or 500, or 600, or what? 413 is closest to 400, and so that's the answer. That rounds to 400. Now, another way of doing it is to say, I want to round to the 100 spot, okay, the 100 spot. And the next digit is a 1. And the nice thing about this is we can completely ignore this digit. The 3 doesn't matter. The fact is I want to round to the 100 spot and the digit after that is a 1. Now if it's 4 or less we round down. If it's 5 or more we round up. So this 1 is less than 4 so we round down. And this becomes a 0, the 4 stays the same and then this digit also becomes a 0 because this has to be a multiple of 100. So it's, a, it's 400, right? So how about 783? What 100 is that closest to? 600, 700, 800? The, the, the multiple of 100 that this is closest to is what? It's closest to 800, right? Now, again, the other way of doing it is to say, look, we, we want to round to the hundreds spot. The digit, the next digit is an 8. Now if this digit is 5 or more, we round up. If it's 4 or less, we round down. Now 8 is more than 5, so we round up, right? We round up. So if we round up, then this 7 here becomes an 8, and everything else is 0. And that's a multiple of 100. So that's rounding to the nearest 100. Okay. How about this guy, 3,824? Round that to the nearest 100. Well, let's see. We want to round to what, to, for, to where, where's the hundreds place in this anyway? Remember, this is thousands. This is hundreds. The hundred spot is here. That's the hundred spot. Okay. So, what's the digit after uh, the 8. It's a 2, right? So how do we round this then? We've got a round to the nearest 100. The next digit is a 2. If that digit is two, is 4 or less, we round down, right? So we get 3,800. Now this is a multiple of 100 also. If I was to continue my hundreds numbers here, I'd get 800, 900. What comes after 900 in this sequence? 1,000, right? Or 1,000. Then we'd have 1,100 or 1,100. Then we'd have 1,200 or 1,200 and so on. And eventually we would in fact come to 3,800 or 3,800. So this is a multiple of 100 because it has two zeros here. It has a zero in the unit spot and a zero in the ten spot. Okay, round this guy to the nearest 100 then.
Okay, so the 100 spot is 5, the next digit is a 0, and so surely we round down, right? Yep, we round down, so we get 4500, zero, zero, or 4500. Okay, round this guy to the nearest 100, what do you get? Well, the 100 spot is here, so this is 34,990, right? The 100 spot is here, the next digit is a 9. Do we round up or down? We round up. Okay. Now that means I'm going to basically add a 1 onto here. Okay. So this is going to become 0, and of course we have 0 here. We're going to add a 1 onto here, and what's 1 plus 9? Well, that's 10. The other way of looking at it is look, I'm adding a 1 onto 349. What is 349 plus 1? Well, it is 350, right? 350. So, if I do that, if I add the 1 on here, this becomes, th you know, 35,000. Okay, press pause and do these guys, if you like, or if you need more time. But, but go ahead and see if you can do these guys on your own. So you're rounding to the nearest hundred. So we've got to round this one to this spot here, right? What's the next digit. The next digit is 5, so do I round up or do I round down? You got to round. Got to round up, right? Press pause if you need more time now. Don't don't remember. Remember you've got you got to press pause if you need more time to try and figure it out on your own. So, I'm going to round up. So that means I'm going to add a 1 onto here. So these these is zero out, and you've got 279 plus 1. What does that make? 279 plus 1 is 280, right? So we have 28,000, right? How about this one? 953, round that to the nearest 100. Have we got it? 953, round that to the nearest 100. We've got around to this place here, the hundreds place. After that is a 5. Again, if it's 5 or more, you got to round up. So I've got to add a 1 onto the 9. What's 1 plus 9? 1 plus 9 is 1 plus 9 is 10 so the 9 becomes a 10 and everything else is zeroed out so I have 10 hundred or 1000 right so even though these numbers are thousands they are also multiples of a hundred they're also hundreds all of these guys I mean thousands are hundreds and the reason it the reason why they're hundreds the reason why they are hundreds like one of these numbers is because what's common about all these numbers by the way what do all these numbers have in common they all have two zeros in this spot they all have a zero in the unit spot and a zero in the ten spot just like these guys they have a zero in the unit spot and a zero in the ten spot so even though they are thousands they're also hundreds Okay, because they have a zero in the units and ten spot, right? Okay, so page three, we're going to round these guys to the nearest thousand. And first of all, we're going to write out some thousands. Okay, so if you're looking at numbers that are in fact thousands, you're talking about one thousand, two thousand, right? Three thousand, four thousand. These are thousands. And what's common about thousands is that they have a zero in the unit spot.
they have a zero in the ten spot and they also have a zero in the hundred spot a number that is a thousand has a zero in the unit spot zero in the ten spot and a zero in the hundred spot and then you have any digit here and then that could also be zero but as long as it has three zeros at the end it's a multiple of one thousand and so we have five thousand and so on now isn't there also such a thing as well there's also such a thing as nine thousand but what comes after nine thousand ten thousand right okay and then you have eleven thousand and so on now there's also such a thing as um, you know one hundred thousand have you ever seen that one hundred thousand this is also a multiple of a thousand and the reason is because it has a zero in the units, tens, and the hundred spot. Same with ten thousand. That has a zero in each spot. Even though there's more zeros afterwards, as long as it has, you know, three a zero here, here, and here, it means it's a multiple of one thousand, right? So we'll bear that in mind as we round these guys. So basically, if you're rounding four thousand five hundred and thirty-one to the nearest thousand, which number, which multiple of a thousand is this nearest to? Is it nearest to three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, or what? This is approximately, or it's closest to which multiple of a thousand? Is it closest to four thousand? Or is it in fact closer to five thousand? Right? Because of the 31 here especially, I mean, this is obviously closer to 5,000, isn't it? So when we're rounding to the nearest 1,000, we're rounding to this spot here. This is the 1,000 spot. And the digit after that was a 5. And you can forget about everything else. You don't even have to look at that. So you're simply rounding 45. See that? Now, do you round up or down? 45 rounds up to 50. Okay, and then you just plug in the zeros and you're done. So how about 8,400? What is that round to? You've got a round to the nearest thousand. What do you get? The next digit is a four. So do you round up or down? Round down. And again, you can just forget about everything else. You're just rounding 84. Does 84 round up or does 84 round down? It rounds down, doesn't it, to 80, right? and then you just stick in zeros here and that's that so that's approximately 8,000 how about 31,582 round this guy to the nearest thousand have you got it? this is the thousand that we have a one in the thousand spot we have a five in the hundred spot right? So, all we have to think about is, look, I'm rounding 15, <gasps> you know? Like, you can just forget about everything else. Now, does that round up or down? 15 will round up. It'll round up to give what? It'll round up to give 20, right? So, right here, we just stick 20. See that? So we have zeros here, of course, and then you put the three there. So it's approximately equal to thirty-two thousand, and that's the answer. It has a, you know it has a zero in the hundreds, tens, and unit spot, right? How about nine hundred eighty-one? How do you round this guy? Well, you've got to round up to the nearest thousand. There's nothing in the thousand spot. If you want, you can stick a zero there because 981 is the same thing as 0981. Funny enough. Okay. Now, are you, the next digit is a nine. Do you round up or down? You round up. And so, if I add up, I got to add a one on here, and that becomes one, one, and zero is one. So, in, in any case, nine rounds up to ten, let's say. See that? So, we get 1,000. Do this one by yourself. Round 583 to the nearest thousand. It's like saying, you know, which of these thousand numbers is that nearest to? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000? 
it's nearest to 1,000. And the 5 rounds up to 10, basically. So we get 1,000, right? So what about this number here? 409,908. How would you round this guy to the nearest thousand? So first of all, mark, um, you know, where is which digit is the thousand digit in this number? Let's go through them. We've got ones or units, right? Tens. What's next? Hundreds. Thousands. Ten thousands. Hundred thousands, right? So, the thousand digit is this guy, right? So we're going to round to this place, and the next number is a nine, right? So do we round up or down? Round up, right? So um, if you round up, then we got to add one on here, and the one and nine. Uh, it gives uh, a 10 basically, right? So basically you're adding, you're rounding up and the 9 becomes a 10. See that? That 9 there becomes a 10. And so everything else, uh, of course this is uh, zeroed out here, this all becomes zero and of course the 4 stays there. So 409,908 and if you think about it if somebody says that a that a huge house costs this amount of money, you you probably you could round that in your head to well four hundred ten thousand, right? Does that make sense? Do these numbers look like look, looks like the right answer, right? Okay, what about a enormous uh, uh, piece of land costs three million eight hundred seventy nine thousand five hundred forty one dollars? Round this to the nearest thousand. Round this nearest thousand price for a piece of big piece of land, right? So where is the thousand place in this number? It's here, right? And what digit comes after that? Five, right? So do we round up or down? We've got to round. It, we've got basically 95 there. So we round up. Okay, and so you know, you get a zero here, and that and you add a one on to the nine, right? And so basically becomes ten, right? So if that becomes ten, then you got zero here and you gotta add one onto here, right? Or you can just think, look, I'm adding one to seventy-nine, and that gives What's 79 plus 1? 80, right? So in any case, a 1 transfers over to the 7 and you end up with 8, right? So everything else uh, here stays the same course and um, this is zeroed out. So the piece of land you could say is approximately 3,880,000. So you don't have to say all of these digits, right? Um, how about this guy? Round this to the nearest thousand. Press pause if you need more time. Round this guy to the nearest thousand. So in the thousand spot we have this digit here, nine, right? After that is a 4. Do I round up or down? 94 rounds up or down? Oh, it just rounds down to 90, right? 94 rounds down to 90. And of course these are zeros and the rest is the same. So if a big piece of land cost $4,209,498, you could round that to four million two hundred and nine dollars right